Alright, so this is the first time I've ever tried playing Meg Megalith in any kind of kind of real game, real gameplay this festival. And but let me tell you, I this this, this I'm struggling, bro. This is <laughs> this text really hard, bro. My brain my brain is not big enough to, to handle the lines. Okay, so I have some replays showing my my progress through trying to trying to navigate this deck. So that in hopes of if someone else is trying to play this deck too, you know, maybe they can pick up something from this. Well anyway, this hand is FTK. This is the best hand in the deck. So let's see how I messed this up. We start with Chalice Time pitching Fool since we don't need Fool, so you get Candle from deck and then you'd sack Candle for one of your level fours. This is a standard combo. So like this will add portal and then I'll activate portal and activate unformed. I already have unformed. If you didn't have unformed, you would search unformed first because you need to get full from the deck. And then when you tribute out the Hagif, you have the Hagif back and then the ink. The Inception uh, sends the Chalice Slime to get the Talus Mandra, which gets the Benten. And then full pops the Benten for an Ophio, when Ophio will add Och and Benten will add Mandra, which we haven't normal summoned yet. Then uh, Ophio will special Och and I'll cycle a card and draw into call by so I'll ditch the other O-Field, then you use Inception, tribute Talus Mana to special summon the Hagif, and then the Hagif will get you your uh, trap card, the what's this called? The Megalith Emergence, and then I'll use that since we added O-Field back off of the portal, I'll just use O-Field again to add a bait for from deck to hand and then add Manju to add Sh uh, Shino Baron Peacock. So this is the I think I, I could have done a bit better. I think I, I wasted some material somewhere there with my Megalith Portal Riad and stuff like that. But here you have full special summoning from the deck. Ideally you want to special summon a level 8 Megalith, either Bait for or Aratron, which is the targeting protection depending on the situation. And then you have a share of Baron Peacock, which can be ritual summoned with Och, because Och is the, the two Megaliths of quick effects are full and Och. Fool, Spiritual Summons from the deck, Och, Ritual Summons from the... Someone tell me how to pronounce this. I know this is not pronounced Och, I just don't know how to actually pronounce this. But Och will Ritual Summon from the hand. So I we have the Sharon, Shino, Baron, Peacock from hand. And if something goes wrong, or if I get board wipe or whatever, we still have a Ritual Summon with the Bay 4 in hand to summon the, the Peacock uh, as last resort, and we have the Emergence to bring back a, another uh, Megalith monster as, you know, need a material or like as follow-up if we don't need to use it for uh, extra material. So our opponent's playing Nouvel and I've played against way too many Nouvel. This this is how you this is how you play against Nouvel. It's kind of like think of think of their ritual monsters as like pearlies. Like like X pearly specifically E pearly happiness. That's how you want to interact with their rituals. So first we're gonna uh, ritual summon the level one, and uh, uh, they're gonna trigger level one, XV, and then the the pendulum's gonna come back. So when the pendulum comes back, this is the their standard play. We're gonna after they excavate one and add one to hand. They're going to use their pendulum monster on the targeting the level one. Okay, so. The level one, all these ritual monsters have an effect to where when they're targeted, they they have an effect where they can sack, they can tribute an attack resistant monster and themselves to get an additional effect or special something from the deck. This is a when effect. This is like Thunder Dragon Colossus. This is like E per the happiness. It can you can chain block this. You can make it miss timing so that they can't trigger it. So they're gonna target their level one, and then I'm gonna chain Megalith Emergence to activate. I'm not gonna use this effect obviously. I'm just gonna flip it up as chain link two. This way, this blocks their level 1 from triggering. And when you block their level 1 from triggering, that's that's how you stop most of their gas. Because they need they only have so few targeting effects they have available. So their next targeting effect is the grave effect of the ritual, which they can use to target this again to again try to trigger the effect of uh, the its effect when targeted. So now I'm gonna chain fool to that effect. And I'm gonna ritual summon using the fusion that they gave me. Thanks for the free material. I'm gonna special summon Arch. I don't really want to pop it yet because bait for target, so I don't want to like pop target target the level one and then trigger it anyway. So I'm just gonna get the targeting protection from Megalith Arachon. 
So you chain block the level 1 twice. So this cuts off two of their resources. Now they, they're actually going to link it off in the cross sheet and use another ritual spell. And they're going to hard ritual summon the level 5 now into the cross sheep zone. And they're going to use cross sheep and the level 5 to add a add a ritual monster and then cross sheep's going to draw 2, pitch 2. They're set 2 and then the end phase I'm going to... Uh, I don't need to share in Shino Baron is Piyaki anything. Oh, by the way, what I mentioned, when Fools uh, triggers and Ritual Summon, you can make the portal back to Benten, and then I will use Och using the Benten we added back to Special Summon the Bay 4. And Bay 4 is going to pop everything but but the level 5. Again, I don't want to target the level 5. I do want to avoid targeting their monsters, and you also want to chain block them, and if you can do that, you can uh, cut them off from doing mostly what they want to do, and then they're going to not be able to extend very far. Okay, so now we got a series of games against apparently the most common deck of this format by far. And I put them on the coin and maybe go first, so you can guess what they're on. And they're going to Ash my prep, so this this is really bad. Like, like th this is really bad. I was going to Ash Hala Simon combo there, but now look what I have to do. I have to use Archon's Effect to Ritual Summon. By sacking Hageth, the special summon fool. Three cards into one ritual summon. Imagine my opponent had Infirm, I wouldn't have cooked. Thankfully they didn't, so I can add back Hageth and then use Fool to tribute the Benton and add Ophiel. And this is full combo anyways, because I'm a sack and I hard open Benton. So I don't need to do the the incantation stuff to like search Benton, then sack it off to search Manju to search, but to get that search. I can just Benton search Manju anyways, but I'm going to be down a few cards because obviously we didn't plus like three off the incantation engine. So I'm not going to really have many cards or resources in hand. But yeah, now Ophiel is going to ritual summon Hageth. I'm going to use Hageth's effect to add portal and activate portal. Then Hageth is going to special Arch and then portal is going to add back the Hageth and Aratron. Uh, why did I add back Aratron? Draw this card, okay. Manju, Adj, Peacock. That's my turn. Okay, okay. I caught it. Misplay, huge misplay alert. Misplay alert. Okay, don't add Aratron back. You sh with Adj, yeah, actually with Portal, you want to add back to Hagev. And then you're going to use Adj to special Hagev. And then Hagev is going to search the Emergence. So Emergence is going to... It's going to... And then the... Trap card emergence is going to special auch in your opponent's turn. So you still get the auch ritual summon, but you just have an extra emergence and an extra hagip on field as material for free. Instead, I, I drew, I used Aratron, which is not very useful. I don't know why, why I added this because this all this does is ritual summon from hand, but I don't have enough cards in hand to rituals. I don't have enough ha like cards in hand to ritual summon in the first place, right? Uh, yeah, this is a. I can only ritual summon one of these anyway, so. And I have two ritual summons from hand, so yeah, that, that's not that's not good. Okay. Okay, do what I say, not what I do. So yeah, big surprise, they're on the Conco. And they're gonna add the limited Arabex to dump the Huli, and they're gonna Arabex target the Fool, and I'm just gonna use Fool's effect to get the Arabex off it, and then I'm gonna ritual summon Ophiel from deck. And then Ophiel's gonna add. Add back, and then Portal is gonna add back Benton, and then they're gonna they're gonna bell my Portal. You know what? I'm fine with that. Dude. I I don't need the Benton anyways. And then Ophiel will add. Uh, what did I add here? I added Bay Four, right? Cause uh, I right now I need to add Bay Four to hand since I already used the Fool, so I can't use Fool to summon Bay Four from deck. So if I still want the Bay Four pop as an option, I have to add it off Ophiel, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, learning as we go. We're gonna special back Huli, and then. Uli is gonna add their trap card, and I'm gonna just summon back Hagif because they don't really have a good target. At this point, I'm gonna summon. They're gonna enter uh, battle phase, so before that, I'm gonna retro summon Shino Bird, uh, Peacock, and return bounce after the hand. We're gonna Huli and then set their trap card, and then the end phase, I'm gonna Aratron and summon Bayford. Okay, so you know what? My misplay worked out. It, it worked out because, uh, you know, I. <laughs> If I had done the proper play, I would have not been able to summon a uh, Bayford. So you, you know what? That, that I can't 
even in post commentary, I can't find the right line to do. So I I, I did the right line on accident, corrected it, was actually wrong, and the, the, this is the only way that you got three ritual summons on this. So and with the three ritual summons, obviously you get the bay for pop. And then and then I top deck unformed, like like nothing happened, just just as a sack to get to the OTK my opponent now. Yes, this is, it's gonna be an OTK from here, and Portal's gonna add back. It. All right, another game where we go first, and this time we open X. I'm gonna, I have to prep for a level four since we have the Chalice Line ready. So Chalice Line plus level four is full combo. Uh, you, you've already seen this before, so we're gonna Candle add Inception to summon the level four, the original summon the level four to Ophiel, which is gonna add full, and then Incantation is gonna send the Chalice Line, the special Chalice Mandra, get the Inception back, add Benten, Ophiel, set full. Full add back to Ophio. And then full effect tribute Benton. Get Hagif. Hagif effect and Benton. Add Manju. Add the field spell. Activate portal. Activate Inception. Sack for Ophio. Ophio effect. Add Arch. Oh, uh, Hagif effect. Special Arch. Arch effect and portal. Add back Hagif. And draw a card, nice draw into Ash, normal Manju, add Aratron, and then ouch, ouch. <laughs> Special Hagif, and Hagif gets Emergence, and yeah, this is nice, nice and easy full combo. Share Chino Bear and Peacock and Aratron back up, Ritual Summon with an Emergence set, and then uh, with an Auch and Grave to fusion from this Ritual from Hand and full to Ritual from Death. With an Ash in Hand. And uh, we're gonna get Kaiju. So, well, and then we're gonna get Lava Golem. Uh, they they should have waited on the Lava Golem to be honest. Not, not that it mattered because I had quick effects, I guess. But there's no point. They they all they they tributed two level four monsters and gave me a level eight monster, which all the only use those level four monsters were gonna have were to be used as ritual material. So so they literally just swapped eight levels of ritual material for eight levels of ritual material. With more attack. So Preb is gonna add Okime, and they're gonna act they hard drew the one of Arabesque. And on the activation of Arabesque, I'm gonna bring back Fool, and then Portal is gonna add back Benton. And this is what I should have done last game. I should have waited for the effect of Arabesque. Now I trigger Fool. And uh well they had the Ash. So I, I was obviously you saw what I was doing, right? I was gonna ritual summon from deck and tribute off the Gamma Seal, but uh they, they had the Ash, so they're gonna actually get Huli. And get the Gamma Seal back, and Huli is gonna add their trap card. Then they're gonna use uh, Okime, which I'm gonna ash that, so I can deal with with uh, Huli. This this is why we put Shino Bear and Peacock in the deck for this exact reason, because otherwise I don't have an out to this card. They, they, you can deal 3k to me, that's fine. On the uh, my turn, right? I don't even need to do the end phase thing. I'm gonna burn for two and then activate. Fool, they're gonna activate Promise, just like whatever. I I just want to clear their back row. So I'm gonna sack up the Lava Golem they gave me, the special Bay 4 from deck. And Bay 4 is gonna pop their last back row. And then Portal's gonna add back Hagit. Doesn't really matter what they add back. And they're gonna McConkle Rivalry target the their uh, Nini. And they're gonna equip a Purification Dance. And Bay 4's gonna. Just clear the back row, and then they're gonna take control of my Bay 4. I'm gonna normal summon Manju. They don't really have any more interruption. All they have is Huli making everything at towers. But yeah, I can just uh, pencil plume add back, and they're gonna they're gonna bounce the pencil plume to my hand for some for some reason. I don't know why they did that. Like that, <laughs> this pencil plume has zero attack, and it locks into the extra. Why would you just bounce this? I mean, it doesn't really matter because now I can just emergence bring back Arch and then Arch Ritual Summon with it and Benton for Shino Bear and Peacock. And Shino Bear and Peacock bounces their board, non targeting. So that that's just the easiest out of Huli like in the entire game. And just to see you buy. I, I even get to add back the Bay for back to my hand as a free resource, thank you. And now I can just kill them with uh, Arachron. Just incantation and attack the game. Yeah, and 
Clem back to Shino Bear and Kudogas returns to your hand every turn. So uh, you can summon it during your opponent's turn too to clear their monsters. And then it bounces back to hand, and then you can do it again, and you can do it every turn. So, yeah, but Towers and Chaos Max, they, they ain't gonna do shit against you. Well, another game, an another lost coin flip, and they made me go first, and I swear, this is like the fifth me. At this point, this is like the fifth Mikanko deck I faced in a row. I was getting like pretty, f pretty bored myself. And this hand does absolutely nothing. I <laughs> This is one of the few hands that literally I have no cards that I can legally activate. So I have to <laughs> Again, this gamma has not really done much for me since I put it in the deck. I'm not gonna lie. Probably don't don't need the gamma in your deck. This this was this isn't even good disruption. Like I I guess it's okay disruption, but like I I've never stopped an ash with this. And they're gonna endear servant, which, you know, I gotta be breaking on something, right? And they're gonna, they're gonna pass the there's riveting gameplay. Riveting gameplay. I drew one card. Can I OTK on an empty board with one live card? Let's see. Candle. Add Inception. Inception. We're doing new, new lines here. Candle to summon Hagit in attack mode. Hagit is gonna add Unformed. We're gonna use Unformed. Distribute Hagit to get four from the deck. Which summon defense is kind of annoying, and then Fool is going to add back to Hegev. Activate Portal, activate Fool, sack the Hegev, add some Ophio, Portal, add back Hegev. Ophio is going to add uh, Och. Ophio, special Och in attack mode. I'm just going to bring attack, attack as many monsters I can. And I draw one and I draw into, I draw into Manju. Thank God, and I add back Inception, and I'm gonna use Pencil Plume to add back the Ophiel. This is the rare time to use act, use, use special Pencil Plume. Because usually you use special Tasmandra to search Benton or Candle to search the, the Ritual spell. But if you have, if you already have access to those, then you have the option to special something Pencil Plume deck, which adds a Ritual from Grave to hand. So this is the third time I add Ophiel back to my hand from the Grave. Now I'm gonna Manju add Phalic, and this is the. Use Och. I'm gonna special Hagev again, and Hagev is gonna add un unformed, and then Hagev is gonna sack itself and fool the special Phaleg. And now I have 57. I need to get I need to get one more monster in attack mode, which is really annoying because emergence summons in, de in defense build, then unformed summons in defense build. So I gotta get two out, and then Ophiel effect is gonna add fool. And here here's the play. I'm gonna use Inception to. Tribute Pentathlon to Summon Fool. Why did I do this? Because uh, when the incantations are on the field, you can't special on the extra deck. So I literally had to go minus three and then sack off it to summon a fool on the field. That way I can finally link some. What concept is that in Megalith and going to Dynamondo? And Dynamondo just has just enough attack for me to OTK with a fail on the field. Yeah, that's uh. That's that's how you use five dead cards in the hand, the OTK on an empty board. Jesus Christ. This is that was also probably by far the most efficient line you could have taken the OTK. I'm I'm 99.9% .9 sure there was a better, safer line that you could have done that actually provided you follow up on the next turn if they somehow stop you. But I I'm I'm not good enough to see those lines. All I all I do is click buttons and like no no joke. I I thought I whiffed game, and then at the very end, after I used Inception to sack off the pencil plume, my extra glowed up, and I was like, "Oh wait, that extra deck blocks me. Now I can link something to Dynamondo, and that's how I got game." So I literally didn't even know I had game until I finished clicking buttons randomly. So as you can see, I played a lot of this event with Megalith and the. Gishki deck I made my last video about, and this is uh, good enough to where I'm, I am aiming for the title, but I'll wait until the new missions are there. So if you want to see the deck list for the Megalith deck, this is like card for card almost the exact same as the one I I posted in my budget decks video. It's just I added three gamma, and honestly, you could you could add, you could use the gamma, you could not use it. It's an SR. It's not like it's like would break the budget or anything. Uh, that's like preference uh, up to you. 
yeah, if you want explanations on what all the Megalith cards do and the uh, like example ideal combos, I also have it in that video. And yeah, also check out my other videos for this event if you uh, want to see some more variety of decks besides just loners and new and new vels and like I'm like I'm sick of burgers. I never want to go to McDonald's ever again. <laughs>